Greetings, friends. 2023 has given us many exciting events in the world of professional boxing. We've seen large-scale mega fights, brutal battles, chilling knockouts, and big upsets. And there's every reason to believe that 2024 will be even more successful and eventful for boxing fans. Today, we will talk about the five most anticipated events and about the likelihood of seeing these fights. Tyson Fury, 34 and 0 and 1 with 24 knockouts versus Oleksandr Yusik, 21 and 0 with 14 knockouts. Boxing fans have been waiting for the fight between the British giant and the Ukrainian southpaw for several years now. Two of the strongest fighters in their category, two champions, two undefeated beasts. It's too crowded for the two of them at the top. And only one should remain. For the first time since 1999, when the legendary Lennox Lewis defeated the no less legendary Evander Holyfield, the undisputed world champion in the royal weight category will be determined. The author of these lines has already thought about this fight for so long, considering all its possible outcomes, as he has not thought about any other fight. Both, to a certain extent, will be inconvenient for their opponent and everyone has the set of skills to write an unpleasant one in the defeat column for their opponent. And the performance of the Gypsy King in the exhibition fight with Francis Ngannou should not mislead the numerous fans of the Ukrainian. And it's better to be ready for the best version of Fury, who confidently outboxed Vladimir Klitschko and left no stone unturned against Deontay Wilder. The one thing you can be sure of is that Yusik himself will definitely not allow any underestimation. So let's not read the tea leaves, but just keep our fingers crossed. After all, the contract has been signed, and on February 17th, these guys will determine the sole leader of the division. Saul Alvarez, 62 and two with 39 knockouts against David Benavides, 28 no with 24 knockouts. An exciting fight between experience and youth. The young lion Benavides has been trying to lure the undisputed super middleweight champion into the ring since 2021. But all his attempts so far have been unsuccessful. But it should be noted that the former leader of the best boxers regardless of weight category has fewer and fewer reasons to refuse. If earlier Canelo argued his disdain for his opponent in the spirit of earn your chance, who are you anyway, now his attempts to avoid Benavides are causing confusion among boxing fans. In 2023, the American-Mexican big man significantly improved his reputation, winning against Caleb Plant and Demetrius Andrade. Moreover, the Honorable Mauricio Suleiman, president of the WBC, publicly stated before the El Bandera-Andrade fight that Alvarez would be obliged to fight the winner. But the probability of this fight is still no higher than 50%. The Mexican star is in the final stages of his career, more interested in replenishing his bank account, which means he may well give up the title in order to avoid a dangerous fight against David. Let's hope that Saul, who has never shied away from a challenge, will not do so now. After all, regardless of the outcome of the fight, the respect of the fans is guaranteed to him. Gervonta Davis, 29-0 with 27 knockouts, versus Shakur Stevenson, 21-0 with 10 knockouts. Few would refuse to see two undefeated top lightweight technical boxers. Moreover, at least on paper, it's Shakur who has the best chance of interrupting the victorious streak of the tank. It's a paradox, but even with titles in three divisions, Stevenson remains quite a dark horse. After all, Apart from Oscar Valdez, who is stylishly convenient for him, Shakur has not defeated a single boxer of the so-called elite level. This situation is worsened by the poor relations between the fighters' promoters, and Shakur's performance in the fight against Edwin De Los Santos clearly did not contribute to the guy's popularity on the boxing market. And it's hard to believe now that Gervonta, who is one of the most popular and box office fighters, 
would accept a fight in which the risk of losing significantly exceeds the possible cash prize. We can only hope that Stevenson will be able to personally increase his status in the eyes of a potential opponent, because so far the chances of seeing such a fight are frankly low. Teofimo Lopez, 19-1 with 13 knockouts, versus Subriel Matias, 20-1 with 20 knockouts. Stylistically, this is simply a gorgeous fight that will not leave anyone indifferent. One of the best counterpunchers in modern boxing against an aggressive slugger who operates in a never back down style. The combined record of both boxers is 39-2 with 33 knockouts. As they say, set fire and run away. But here's the problem. The star Tiafimo now fights more with opponents not in the ring, but outside it. Not forgetting to mention his greatness at every opportunity. He's also a headache for promoters because he thinks two and a half million dollars is too little for his royalty. And Lopez is unlikely to agree to fight the very dangerous Puerto Rican. After all, he's unlikely to provide him with a huge fee but his chances of destroying Teofimo are more than good. And the chances of seeing this fight in the near future, unfortunately, are quite low. Anthony Joshua, 27-3 with 24 knockouts, versus Deontay Wilder, 43-3-1 and and with 42 knockouts. The contract for the fight between the two very formidable punchers in the heavyweight division has already been signed. In order to finally have a fight on March 9th, they absolutely had to win their fights on December 23rd. Alas, only the AJ managed to succeed, destroying Otto Wallen in five rounds. But the formidable American knockout artist failed his task miserably, losing on points to Joseph Parker. But. Who said we have lost hope for this fight? If the veteran manages to put his psychological state in order and finds the same motivation, we may well see the Wilder Joshua fight in the second half of this year. To do this, Wilder needs to get an exciting knockout victory over someone like Martin Bacole, Daniel Dubois, or even Zhang Gillet, thereby making it clear that it's premature to write him off. A victory in such a fight especially if it's the formidable Chinese giant, will instantly return the American to his former authority and significantly increase the chances of a fight against the antagonist of his entire career. Since Fury and Yusik have an immediate rematch in their contract, Joshua will have to look for other financially profitable operations. And the fight with Wilder promises solid profits. And according to this author, the chances of seeing a fight between two popular heavyweight knockout artists are at least 50%. Oh yeah, Anthony still needs to avoid being blown away by Francis Ngannou on March 9th.